the story of Yes starts way back in 1999 when Diane Mintz, our founder, um, came up with an idea to send as many kids from Richmond as she could to camp. And so she and her son and a friend of his decided to take them out on uh, weekend outings during the summer. And so that struck an idea in, in Diane. She worked very hard uh, to make that dream become a reality. And so she worked with banks and realty organizations to make it uh, a reality that those children could go to summer camp the following year. Uh, she was able to uh, create the opportunity for not only those kids to go to camp, but for a total of 81 children to go to summer camp uh, in the summer of 1999. And that's how Yes began. Diane, literally the first word that comes to my mind is tenacity. Like, she has this ability that she's going to do it no matter what. There are no limitations. She's just going to figure out what needs to be done and how am I going to do it. The limits do not exist. And that is what a true visionary is. I remember her saying, do you have a job? And I was like, no, I don't have a job. And she was like, well, would you like a job? And I was like, yeah, so, you know, I think about it now. I didn't even ask, like, what the job was doing. It expanded quicker than what our capacity was. But we knew, we all knew that there needed to be an office, that we couldn't keep it running under the present condition or under the existing conditions at the time. And Diane also knew she couldn't continue to keep up with being this, like, temporary executive director and having her own job which she did for quite some time. We knew we needed an office and we knew we needed an executive director. But we knew we had to find the right person for that too. That it had to be somebody that was just as much a visionary, that could take the organization to the next level. And that's when we got our Eric. I, I first became involved with YES when I was a volunteer in 2004. I was, uh, at the time, a student at UC Berkeley. And my wife, Caroline, uh, had been invited to go to the very first family camp in the spring of that year uh, to photograph the camp. And so when she came back, she told me about how amazing it was. She told me, you have to go check this out. This is exactly the type of thing that you would be interested in. And having a background in both the outdoors and mentoring, um, it was a perfect fit for me. When I came on board to YES, um, there, we were doing a lot of uh, extraordinary work already. The thing that we were seeing was when children were coming back from summer camp, especially our older children, oftentimes it was the first taste of leadership that they had uh, in their life. It was really important for us to take that leadership that was in a bottle over the course of a week or two and be able to extend it out over the course of a whole academic year. We came up with the Camp to Community program, which is a year-round youth leadership program. And so that's really the notion behind um, the, the deepening work that we've done in the community since 2007. The focus on youth leadership and adult leadership development. My goal is to give back to the community as much as the community has given to me. I found out about this opportunity when I visited the YES office to sign up for camp. One of the questions I remember on the application was, what does health and wellness mean to you, and what does health and wellness mean to the community? I've never thought about this question, but they both do mean different things to different people. When I got accepted, we watched this video on this group of kids trying to better their community by getting better water fountains. I at first thought that people don't have a big influence but then I then learned that people make a sort of bigger voice. I realized then and there that people do have the power to make the change as long as they work together. I became in between employment, but I wanted to keep my skills going. And so that began my journey with um, being a wellness navigator with YES. The connection that I feel with yes is they're outside and they're bringing beauty 
and they're helping people to slow down and to notice where they are, you know, and to really appreciate where they are and who they're with. Yes, bring something different to the table. They bring an opportunity to um, blend with other cultures and with other people. They bring opportunity to go somewhere where you've never been before. Por cinco meses fui a recibir clases de natación de parte del programa Jess. Nunca pensé que a la edad que tengo iba a aprender a nadar. Pensé que nunca iba a aprender a nadar. Y entonces para mí fue como fue como un regalo que me dio el programa Jess. Ahora ya voy a poder ir con mis niñas a las piscinas, a los ríos. Ya no, ya no tengo miedo al agua. We learned about how to be a health navigator, nutrition. Uh, then we learned we're learning about be smarter, drink water. Yo a mí me gusta mucho tomar soda y ahorita estoy dejando de disminuyo de tomar tanta soda también. Y eso gracias a que he venido aquí al campamento. Es lo que me ha ayudado también todo esto. I walk so much today. It seems like I got more exercise than I ever got before. And I don't usually walk. I usually drive. So, so maybe when I go home, I need to start an exercise plan. I think my community in Richmond is is good, but there's also it has its flaws, like like every city. The bad part in Richmond actually affected me personally because. There was a drive by my step grandma's house, and my cousin was actually shot in the back three times, and uh, is now paralyzed from the waist down. Our relationship used to be uh, with my cousin. We used to always go out and run around and have fun, but since the drive by, that hasn't really happened a lot, so kind of miss that. Camp really just shaped who I am. Actually, my first year at camp. Uh, about a month before that, my dad actually lost his house and I found out I wasn't going to be able to see him for a while. And then going to camp, told the counselor about that and he told me just forget about that here and just enjoy yourself. And once that week was over, I realized on the bus ride home, I can, my dad knows where I live so he'll always be in my life and he'll always be with me. My second camp experience was completely amazing. I actually got my first rag that year, my blue rag. My goal was to be a kinder person. And I've noticed that from when I was 12 to now, I've become way nicer, willing to help people a lot more. And I've actually put myself in other people's shoes to help understand what they're going through. A camper told me he wants to come back next year and see me as a counselor. So just having that connection with the kid made me feel real proud and now I'm, pr I'm proud to say I'm working for the YMCA this year. Uh, your contribution to YES will help, help a camper go to camp this summer and depending on that situation with the camper, you can completely change their life. It's not just, oh, I'm gonna help them go to camp and have some good memories. You could like, no, I could help this kid get through whatever that kid's going through and actually see many opportunities that that kid can go and actually feel comfortable and that he has a he or she has a place in this world.